Hello, everybody, and um, welcome, welcome to a stream and uh, potentially recording of Factorio. Uh, so Factorio is uh, is pretty amazing. If you liked um, playing Minecraft with mods, basically, Factorio is just the game for you. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good. So we're playing. Basically vanilla. Uh, I talked to I talked to somebody yesterday. Greetings, uh, Mr. Um, K. Um, and uh, they told me about a mod called Far Reach, which basically means uh, you don't have to stand next directly next to the things you're harvesting. So I can stand over here, and then I can still harvest this tree. So this doesn't make a lot of difference um, in the long run. But it's just so much nicer, and I can focus on actually talking on the stream, um, and uh, and also get stuff done. <clears throat> so the point of uh, the point of all of this is to basically explore, to get uh, get some ore, develop the technology tree. Uh, I don't know how to do that. No, that's the tutorials. Uh, bu -bu -bu. So forgive me, it's been ah T, right, research. So you can see you have all these different different machines you can build. Um and, and like basically you need to research that first you can get better ammunition to defend yourself against the evil alien bros and stuff. Um and uh yeah, you you basically want to automate as much as possible. So it's really like playing um Minecraft when uh, when you have a ton of mods installed and you're just automating all the ore extraction and uh, and stuff like that. So probably gonna need some stone. Right over there's the coal. Um, I'm gonna get that. Oh. I wonder how I can uh, rotate that. Was it just R? Maybe. Okay. So uh, this is a, a, a mining. Oh, there we go. Right. <clears throat> so basically, the burner mining drill requires something that that burns and spits out coal. Uh, now I can uh, pick up this coal continuously and just stand around here. But what we want is obviously to make a chest that this uh, automatically flows into. Right. So now we should see. Oh yeah, it's running through <coughs> rather nicely. So now we can replace the wood we actually have with the coal that we already had, and basically it's going to produce more coal than it needs to get out the coal. Um, and we also want some iron, we also want some copper. I'm going to get rid of these trees real quick, um, because we're going to need some more chests and stuff like that. Uh, how exciting! Uh, it's been ages since I've played this, it must be over half a year, I guess. Uh, and the last time, the last time I played it, I actually played it together with uh, Krivian, aka Mikkel. So I hope he uh, he can find the time to uh, to play with me again um, in the near future. Right. Let's have a closer look at the at the crafting menu. So you have some uh, you have a category called logistics. That's basically about moving stuff around. So you have pipes of fluids. You have inserters that go like, oh, uh, I'm gonna feed your machine coal when it needs it. You have conveyor belts. Um, oh, iron axe. Right, I wanted that one. Ooh. Oh, I made all of them. I could make a great. Right, and I'm a total noob. I, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. But basically, um, you have electricity production in the form of steam engines. You can have electrical drills that cover a larger area. Offshore pumps to make sure you get some water, um, and then you have intermediate products, which um, allow you to make more advanced products, and you have weapons. So to unlock more of the of the things you can build, um, you want to start researching stuff. So, for example, uh, key technology for automating mass production it would be this um, tree, and it allows us to build a an assembling machine and a long-handed inserter. Right, so we can't research that yet because we don't have the the correct building to to start that. Um, 
Right, so what I, w what I would like to build is I would like to build another drill. So foolishly, <laughs> I've used all my iron already, um, but I do have a stone furnace. Right, um, gonna give that one some more coal. Uh, so that means I'll have to pick some iron by hand. Fortunately, because I made the axes, that's now gonna go a lot quicker than with my bare hands. Right, so we're gonna smelt some iron. And obviously our goal is to never ever having to do that again. Never ever having to go, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch this rock until some iron falls out of it. All right, what else do I need? I need some iron gear wheels. I think I can just make those by going like, oh, I made some. When do we need, oh, one, two, three. Right. More iron. So the beginnings are always uh, a little bit crude. It's like, it's basically like, um, Minecraft, where you punch some trees and you dig it, dig a hole into the dirt <coughs> for uh, for the first night, but um, it should go uh, relatively steeply upward from there. Oh, and stone first, right? So I need some stone as well. Okay, here we go. Um, and also, like uh, in Minecraft, you lose durability. So, <coughs> when you look in the bottom right corner, the um, pickaxe I have actually loses durability when I use it. So, when I punch this tree, it's going to make sure that my, my axe loses some durability. Uh, right, how do I make stone ferns? Ah, I just need the cobble, cobblestone. Uh, I'm gonna need one more. Right, and then I can uh, can make another one of these. How wonderful! Okay, brilliant. Okay, now we're talking. Uh, now we'll also have some iron production. Oh, except I need to feed it. There we go, and I need to make another wooden chest, because otherwise, where is it gonna go? There we go. So now we have some coal production, and we have some some iron. And we can smelt some iron as well, which is nice. Now the third ingredient is obviously copper, and I don't know what's what's over here? I think that's iron as well, which is brilliant. So we have like two spots of each, and we have some coal here as well. Um, and we have some water close by, so we can we can get a water pump running. So I would say this is a pretty neat spot. Um, oh. And we would obviously like some electricity. So we we mostly need iron for that. We don't need copper before we do anything with electricity. But I mean, it doesn't hurt to start mining it, basically. I'm gonna take this out of the way. Um, put that down over here. Oh, yeah, and you can have some coal as well. Um, I thought there was a way w with which I could empty things. Maybe I need to need to open up that. Uh. Right. So the first thing you'll notice, I keep opening these um, these inventories to these uh, these drills, and I want to stop doing that. So I'll uh, I'll automate this in search and process, basically. So, um, oh, I have some iron, I can 
Make some burner inserters. Uh, and I'll need some more iron. Okay, right. Right, so what I want to do is I want to run the coal by this uh, this machine and have it uh, automatically draw fuel, basically. So the yellow bar is the origin of what you want to pick up and the yellow arrow is the direction in which that is going to move. So, oh, yeah, need some, need some iron. Quick, give me the iron. So, um, I want to run the coal out of this chest, or just out of this, um, just gonna pick up the chest. And then one more, and then one to the left, basically. Right. So one further ahead, and then this way. And then you can see the little, the little grabby arm takes the coal and puts it into the uh, burner drill, which is brilliant. Uh, can I still uh, rotate this one? Oh yeah, I can. Which is nice too because that's actually where I want the um, iron to go. So you'll see that uh, these kind of keep filling up. So what I want to do now is, uh, oh, I didn't, I don't think I placed them very, or far enough from each other. I'm going to have to move this a little bit. Then I'll have to see how it works. Here, that should work, right? So I'm gonna make sure that this furnace receives some coal. And then I also need a, um, oh, I need an electronic circuit for that. Okay, I'm gonna get some copper. Obviously the thing we, we thought we would never have to do again, or at least not the manual way. Um, Oh, Twitch tells me I can now manage my channel from my phone. How wonderful. Uh, whoever is viewing right now, hello, by the way. I don't know who you are. You have not made yourself known in the chat. So this inserter um, makes sure that we also can take items and put them into our furnace. Oh, it needs electricity. Silly me. Obviously. Um, wait, can I take a burner inserter for this? I'm not sure. Burns fuel for energy. Oh yeah. Right. Well, that's nice. I'm gonna put put some put some stuff in there. That should keep it going for a while. Right. So now our um, Our our coal and our steel is automatically getting produced, but we'll also need to uh, need to get it out. So for that, we will need um, some electricity. But maybe f the first we can uh, we can put down another burner miner drill um, and make sure we we have a fluent uh, intake of copper. There we go. Right. 
Right, so what do we need? Um, we need a boiler. Okay, uh, we can make a boiler. And then I think we can have two steam engines per boiler. I wonder. Ah, yeah, right, I can click these from anywhere because of the far reach mod. Brilliant. Um, and I need some more iron to finish the second steam engine. And I also, I think I also need a pump. Do I not? So basically what we'll do is we'll get some coal, we'll get some water, and then um, use... So we'll use the pump to get stuff into the boiler and then use the steam engine to produce electricity. Now, if I remember correctly, we'll need some uh, small electric poles. So I'll um, chop down some trees to make sure we have, we have them available. So we can uh, start getting our power grid set up. And I mean, obviously, we want we want power and we want solar solar panels and stuff like that. I mean, we don't really want to burn all this coal. Uh, we'd rather turn it into powder and well, we'll we'll find creative uses for it, all right? Um. So basically, all these repetitive steps that you see, where you have to walk up to something, your 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 goal in game, or for for me the goal in game is to automate that away. Um, so let's see if we can figure out how this works. Um, right. Fuel from yeah 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 okay. Um, and then uh, I had a boiler somewhere. Oh yeah right. Okay. So how did this work? Um, I think the water. Where did the water come in? So I know I know I need to put coal in somewhere. Um, I think it worked this way around, so that the water flows through this way, from from top to bottom, so to say. Uh, and if I put coal in it, ah, it starts burning. Okay, great, stop. Um, and then I'll need to put a steam engine on this way. Is that correct? Or it is not correct? I don't think that was correct. What if I oh, put it down this way? Is that correct? I mean, is there an easy way to tell? Oh no, ah, okay, I see the icons now. Okay, so on the left and right side, that's the water icon, and then there's the steam icon here. Right, I had it, I had it right at first, uh, not that it matters, just saying. Um, okay, and the steam comes out the back into our lovely steam engine. Okay. Um, gonna quickly run back and get some more steel. There we go. And kick off some more smelting. There we go. Alrighty, um, some poles. Oh yeah, and um, I'm not sure if this deserves its own miner, but um, might as well. So you can see you have a crafting queue. Uh, you can craft multiple things at a time, uh, which is very convenient when you haven't automated a process to to make a certain item yet or something like that. It's uh, it's very convenient. All right, um, I'm gonna start with the miner. 
and I think I can run it straight up. Oh no, I cannot. Up, up, up. So what I then want is this little guy to feed the coal into the boiler. Right. See if that works. And then this electricity pole. So everything that gets the blue um, kind of borders will um, be affected or, or that's where power will be transmitted. And if the little yellow line appears in the air, that means the electricity poles are not too far apart. So I'm gonna try and keep them out of the way of the ore production a little so they don't get in the way of my later bigger um, drills. Electric trolls. Alright. So now we have power. It's not it's not perfect because to be honest, um, this drill will run out of power at some point, uh, and then it will stop feeding the boiler and it will stop feeding the steam engine. Uh, but for now, we have power, and we can see we can see that somewhere. Um, <laughs> not entirely sure where I can see the ah yes here okay, so we have we have nothing that consumes electricity uh, so oh I can uh, I can put this this guy down now this should use electricity now right oh yeah okay so we can see that this one uses um, all of the wattage what. That doesn't make any sense. Energy consumption. Oh well. Well, we can see it works. It it gets power and stuff, which is nice. So what we I think what we can do is we can or we could have a splitter and then go around, or can we just go around? Some sort of infinite loop? Oh, well, I'll, I'll worry about this one later. I mean, it's still got plenty plenty of things to burn. How's our steel production? I'm gonna pick some of that up. Right. So, uh, what I wanted to do is to actually get things out of this um, this furnace, because if it gets full, uh, no more things will be produced, and production stopping is our worst nightmare. So, well, that probably means I can replace this one as well. Because that would have run out of fuel at some point. So basically, when the little burner inserters don't um, actually pick up coal, they can uh, run out, <coughs> which is inconvenient. Oh, this one has run out of coal. Right. And then I want that to go in a chest. Oh! <coughs> Here we go. Um, so it's it's getting getting a bit dark, um, which isn't necessarily a problem for the game. But just to go over what we did very very quickly is we set up some of the little miners uh, and a smelting thing and some conveyor belts, um, and they uh, automatically produce goods for us now, which is which is very nice. So now we just need to basically run the call around to a copper drill and uh, have the same setup for the furnace so that we get basically our two metallic plate components automatically or without having to worry about them. It's not entirely automatic. Um, but yeah, that was uh, that was the first part um, playing Fatorio. Let me know if you liked it um, or if I've, if I've done anything horribly wrong. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching.